Matthew Viner, a former Conservative Party candidate, put on a wig and a dress and started calling himself Melissa Poulton and a proud lesbian and was welcomed as a candidate for the Green Party. It beggars belief that there are so many who think so little of women. Conservative Deputy Chair Rachel McLean MP accused of transphobic remarks this week. The Conservative Party's Deputy Chair for Women has been accused of making transphobic remarks about one of her general election rivals 2024. MP Rachel McLean shared a post on X, formerly Twitter, that described the transgender woman Melissa Poulton as a man who wears a wig and calls himself a proud lesbian. I will be quoting from Melissa's own timeline in his own or her own words. My name is Melissa Poulton and I am a proud lesbian. I have been a member of the Green Party since 2020 and I have been the co-secretary of the LGBTIQA plus Greens. I am a member of the disability group LGBTIQA plus Greens, Green Party Women and the secretary of the Gypsy Roma Traveller Policy Working Group. I challenge myself to be the best woman I can be. I am also a target candidate for the 2024 local elections in Worcester and a parliamentary candidate in the next general election. Miss McLean has since removed the post and said I am sorry for any offence caused and have now deleted the tweet. I believe everyone should be free to live their lives and fulfil their potential regardless of their sex, sexual orientation or gender identity and to have the confidence and the freedom to be themselves. Uh, for me a very strange uh, apology because there's no reason to apologise, she didn't actually post a tweet, she just made a comment and like what somebody else said. Melissa released a 20 second short video today in the respect of the comments made this week. Without a shadow of a doubt, it is a trans transphobic comment. It's dog whistling um, at the finest, you know. It's whisper, it's gaslighting, it's everything. By attacking a minority um, minority group, it's just, yeah, you know, it's just, it's a shame. Just one more video to play, and this is a short uh, edit I've made uh, from today. And this is from fellow Conservative MP Wendy Morton for Aldridge and Brownhills who actually uh, was on BBC and she actually said she questioned why MP, a fellow MP, uh, Rachel McLean, shared derogatory comments about a transgender candidate, Melissa Poulton, on social media. And again, all she did were like, uh, like a particular comment retweeted and made a, a very, I think, uh, uh, what do you call it, an harmless comment. She didn't really, in my opinion, again, it wasn't a derogatory comment. It's just, it's been made to seem derogatory by a minority of people. I don't know why she chose to put that message out that, that she did. Um, only only Rachel is the person that can that can answer can answer that. You know, politics is a at times a very heated place to be, but you still need respect in politics. Just a quick reminder of the tweet again, absolutely innocuous, nothing to say but other people see what they say and read, read what other people don't read. Uh, again, thanks for your continued support for 2022. I've not been doing a lot of streaming recently for personal reasons. Uh, hopefully, we'll be back before 2023 because I've got some, a bit of time off work and hopefully back to doing streams. I'm going to start off what I used to do years ago, back uh, in 2024. So if you want to continue to support me, please support me. Uh, we Whatever streams I'm going to do, live streams going forward. And... Again, please continue to support the channel the best way you can. And the best way you can is just by liking and leaving a comment. Obviously, if you want to make a donation, <laughs> that'd be fantastic. Anyway, I'm not, don't worry about all that. Right, so again, thanks for your support. If you support me on uh, other social media platforms, you won't see me on Telegram anymore. Uh, it's mainly Twitter I'm on. I've uh, started going back on Gab. Uh, I've got a, a Gabba account. I closed it down, reopened it again, so I'm going back on there just to see, just to try it out. Right, and so thanks for, again, thanks for your continued support. See you all soon. Take care and God bless.